The questionnaire activity in Moodle is very similar to the quiz except the questionnaire is basically a survey that you can send out to your students where you can write all the questions. So let's go in and create one. It's actually fairly simple. Click questionnaire. And we'll do a questionnaire say on weekend plans. Please complete this questionnaire regarding your plans for the holiday weekend. Okay, now timing. I can have the questionnaire open and close on certain dates. Again, uh, just check those buttons and then set the dates and the times appropriately. But I'm just going to go ahead and leave them open. And then type, respond many, respond once, daily, weekly, monthly. I just want students to respond once to this survey, so I'm just going to click respond once. But you can have them respond unlimited times, once a day, once a week, once a month, or just once. Respondent type, either full name or anonymous, depending on um, how you want to see the data. If you want to see what students are giving answers, leave it set to full name. If you want it to be an anonymous survey, then just leave it set to anonymous. Uh, students can view all the responses. So if you want the students to be able to see what other students are saying, then you have to select one of these options after answering the questionnaire, after the questionnaire is closed, or always. So I'll say after they've answered the questionnaire. Uh, save and resume, yes or no. If you set this to yes, then the students can start it and come back later and finish it. This is good for long surveys, but if you're just doing a short questionnaire, there's really no need for that. And then submission grade. Uh, you can give the students a grade just for doing the uh, survey, but I'm going to leave that set to no grade because it's just a survey. I don't need, I don't need that in there. Uh, content options. If you have created surveys in other courses uh, and you've made them public, then you can reuse those surveys for yourself or you can just create new. I'm going to use create new. Uh, click save and return to course. So just like the quiz, this is kind of a two-step process for creating the questionnaire. You first create the link for it and then you write the questions. So here's my weekend plans questionnaire. So I'll click here and then I'll click questions and I can start to create my questions. Here's a list of the questions that I can use. Okay, so I'll start with a simple yes no question. Click add selected question type. Question name I can leave blank. Question text. be visiting family on, on Thanksgiving Day. Now I can also make this question required. If I click yes, the student cannot submit the survey without answering this question. So I'll click Save Changes. Try a different question type this time. We'll do a drop-down box. Click Add Selected Question Type. What is your favorite Thanksgiving food. And then I put the possible answers in here. So obviously turkey, mashed potatoes, stuffing, green bean, casserole, sweet potatoes, and pie. Click Save Changes. And that adds that second question to the uh, to the survey. And then I would continue to add questions. Um, and these are all the different question types that you can use. There's even a text box question, which allows the students to type in basically an essay answer. What is your favorite Thanksgiving memory? And this allows an open-ended question for the students to answer. Okay. Then I can click preview to see what this questionnaire looks like. Here's what it looks like. Okay. Now obviously I can't submit this because um, 
I'm just previewing it. I'll go back to click view. Here's what the survey actually looks like. And I click submit questionnaire. Okay, it submits the questionnaire. And now, as the teacher, I can come in and see the responses. The students can see the responses too. But here's what it looks like. This is the overall responses. So this is all the answers that anybody has given. And then if you click view by response, you can see the answers that each individual gave uh, for the questionnaire. You can see submitted by Chris Davis. And then uh, I can actually just go and see all the responses all at once. And then if I want to, as the teacher, here's another option for viewing the responses, I can actually, if I click on view all responses, I can click delete all responses, and that gets rid of all the responses in the survey and basically starts it all over again. Now, I can always go and add in more questions if I need to, um, and that's always available to you. So that's how you uh, use the or questionnaire feature in Moodle.